It's really very big. But may window ngayon for us to take stock of everything. We are not fighting the communists. They have declared a truce. In return, I also ordered a ceasefire. But I was ahead by them at the beginning to show my good faith na talagang galing sa puso yung aking offer to talk peace. I unilaterally, very early on, ang problema nung pumunta ko sa mga ospital, especially doon sa AFP Medical Center, at tinamaan ng nabulag na, you know, kaya ko uminit yung, oh, was it here? Ah, dito. I was visiting the wake of the three soldiers who were here. Uh, so wake. Nagdito ako, nag, sabi ko, I'm lifting the, wala nang ceasefire. Sabi ko, sige, fight na lang. Kung gusto ninyo. But then again, I sense that uh, they are really also maybe tired of fighting. Because, uh, you know why? They have allowed the left to join my government. And uh, para lang ho, hindi rin kayo ma-ano, not affect the soldiers and the police. Even during the discussions which brought us at 7 o'clock in the morning, we started at about 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yung hatian lang sa power, sabi ko, no? you can have the mundane departments. DSWD, education, everybody wants our children to be educated. You can have it. Except the police and the military. And that includes the Polcom. I will not give you any position. It remains to be the commander-in-chief of whoever is the one elected by the Filipino people. Not to me personally, because ako passing lang po. After six years, kung aabot ako. Pag hindi, sorry. Si Lena na lang. Yung, na, uh, may window tayo. We are not fighting the communists. At uh, by the grace of Allah, MIMN, have expressed the desire to talk. Am I, I salute you guys, they even surrendered the drug addicts under this hospital. Which means to say that the, maybe the MILF, kung maibigay natin yung teritoryo na gusto nila, to which I am inclined to give, para wala na lang ngulo, total, it's a definite territory also for the arm, but it stretches a little bit, fine. We still have enough land in the entire Republic of the Philippines to make everybody happy. MN, uh, I have yet to hear from Noor, but I said, Noor, if he comes out of his hiding place in Hulo, my advice to you guys, the army and the police and everybody, is that let him be. Let him be. See, Noor, uh, I want to say sick. I hope he's uh, well, but matanda na hindi niyan tatakbo. And the last thing that I would want is really, if sa God forbid, huwag sana, na kung may mangyari sa kanya, nasa custody natin. So there's nobody of significance in that area who has the preeminence like Normi Suarez. Eh kung may mangyari niya nandito sa custody natin, we can kiss goodbye about peace in that area. And I'm referring to the Bangsa Moro and the Bangsa Tausog. If you want a differentiation of dito, you just use Bangsa. Bangsa Moro, which is really Kemurad, and Bangsa Tausog. And the only sensible guy there, Sinor. Wala akong ibang nakilala who'd carry the influence. But definitely, ang Abu Sayyaf is out of control. And there is only one way to do it. 
lalo na yung beheading ng isang bata. Sabi ko nga sabihin sa mga Abu Sayyaf, if they're listening now, Adre na wala ang believe ko sa inyo. Eh ako may respeto noon, you're fighting for uh, freedom. Tama kayo. Tama kayo. This, there, there was this historical injustice committed against the Moro people. The Americans may want to know that during their campaign in Mindanao, they slaughtered 600,000 Moro people. What is it to you now that you see two or three criminal shabu operators? Yan ang sakit kaya tayo nahirapan. Una-una, bago dumating si Magellan, daladala niyang reliyon niya, Islam was already ahead. I do not say one century. I do not agree with the scholars because I found time to read the archives of Malaysia. Sa trading, trading, I would put it something like 70 years. Islam was ahead in Mindanao by 70 years. So kayo mga Abu Sayyaf noon, medyo sumasaludo ako. But when you began to slaughter people in front of the camera, and then now you killed an innocent boy, anak, nawawala ang respeto ko sa inyo. So my orders to the armed forces and to the police, destroy them. Destroy them because they are criminals. And we will never have peace in that area there. And even if you grant them autonomy and if they maintain to be bandits, we will never have peace in that land. So, wala din tayong magawa sa useless yung ating peace talks. There's a segment of society in there, Tausog, Yakan, who want peace. And here you are slaughtering people as if they are chickens in front of the public. Say ko na wala ang respeto ko, na wala ang belief ko sa inyo. Kaya would not hesitate to order the armed forces of the Philippines, kill them. Destroy them. Destroy. E pati itong droga. This will pull down this country. And I have given you the resources, the books and everything. Three to seven years. The reason, I'll tell you now for the first time. Do you know the reason why I also agreed with Congress, some congressmen, to postpone the barangay elections? Do you know why? Because I am afraid that the drug money will seep into the electoral process. You will just be adding to our headache people na kung sino manalo ngayon, those that are funded by drug money will win at kailangan mo nang magmarsyalo para to eliminate all. At kailangan mo nang magmarsyalo para to eliminate all. Which I will never do in the first place. Which I will never do in the first place. Which I will never do in the first place. Mahirapan na tuloy tayo. The reason why, of course, second is money. You have to spend billions. Di tulong mo na lang yan sa mga rehab. I have to build the rehab centers. As a matter of fact, I ordered you, the military guys, to give us a space there in your camp because kayo may mga malalaking teritoryo binigay ng gobyerno. You have reservations numbering to hundreds of hectares. Give a little space in the mountains. Wag dito. Not, not in there. You cannot rehabilitate these guys there if you, they remain. You, you have to isolate them and treat them as if... Uh, and for those that cannot be repaired, because as the forensics, Americano lang rin nagbigay sa atin yan eh, that uh, six to one month, incessant use every day of Shabu will shrink the brain of a person. And these are really the legal insanity. Na. They are no longer functional. 
They become dysfunctional with a family that's maghiwalay lang. Alam ninyo yan. Marami yan. Naghiwalay na dahil sa droga. In the upper class, almost 90% pag nandroga, huwalay na. Magsabi ka lang, in the upper class strata in the Philippines of 50,000, about 45,000 na sa droga yung mga uh, asawa nila, wala na. So, kawawa yung bata, kawawa yung pamilya. And ito mga human rights, just what they say, hindi nila binilang yung, nangamat, yung namatay noong hindi pa ako presidente. At yung mga bata na nirape, at yung mga bata na hinahatsa, mutilated because he's seeing the devil and he kills his father. Sabi ko, crime against humanity. In the first place, I'd like to be frank with you, are the humans What is your definition of a human being? Tell me. Human rights. Use it properly in the right context if you have the brains. Now, if your gray matter between the ears is melting, I cannot help you. Ganon ang tingin mo. So I have, mabutit na lang, I know I'm very sorry it took me time to talk to the ambassador of China. We were there. We were discussing for hours. Lahat na China about Laos and what to say in the coming months. And you know, it always ends up with a... Hindi naman lahat... There are so many contentious issues. And even just to agree on the things that we are agreeable, mahirapan na ako. Much more for the things that we disagree with. Kaya pang ano nga to, minsan inabot na kami niya ng umaga rin. But you know, I have to sacrifice time and even if I'm really off my, because of my edit, I had to listen to him to respond properly. So wala tayong masyadong conflict dyan. I'm trying to avoid a conflict because I want the window to remain open para sa atin. So wala na tayong away sa MN. Kung meron man sporadic, intermittent, but very, I said, kukunti lang yan. Not the lives really, but you know, it, it, in, in proportion to the dimensions of the conflict. Wala tayong in PA, MN is uh, medyo silent, then MI has agreed to talk. So we have this time to concentrate on the front sa drug pati doon sa extremism. So we have only two and they are just a few. Kaya natin yan pulpugin. Totoo lang. If we unleash really the firepower of the armed forces, ang problema lang baka may you know, it will so inflame ah uh, uh, Passions because pag misa may bae, bata, tinamaan. Ba't kung talagang tudasin natin yan, matapos natin isang, isang linggo yan? To the last man. So we are lucky that uh, we're able to focus on dito sa Abu Sayyaf. On dito sa, you do not have to kill. I can, you do not have to kill. I can, you do not have to kill. I can assure you. Guys, you do not have to kill. If you can capture them, announce your authority. Guys, you do not have to kill. If you can capture them, announce your authority.